it's Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited today because what I'm going to bring you are seven trends that I am seeing for spring that I'm really excited about. Actually, I think they're really just like lovely. Like that's a that's a word that I use sometimes and people kind of laugh at me like lovely. Is that word still even used? But I just think these are lovely. And then at the end, I'm going to give you three trends that I don't like. And I don't know if you're going to like them either, but I don't really like them. So let's get to it. Oh, wait, but before I do, you know what? Last week when I gave you the, the color report, I said we were picking out colors for the outfit planner, right? For the spring outfit planner. Well, guess what? Some of the things I said in that video, just ignore because... We changed our minds on some of the things. Some of them I said, well, this is going to be in, in some and this is another. And si since then, we just kind of changed a few things around. So be excited. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I have been so excited about colors coming out in the outfit planner. Well, I mean, the fall colors were fabulous. I'm a warm. So but you guys are going to love the colors we picked for you. All right, so let's get to the seven trends that I'm super excited about and they're wearable. The number one trend that I'm seeing, and I'm seeing a lot of it, is the floral trend. All right, so I know floral comes and goes and comes and goes and it's already, it's like, it's everywhere, except that the floral trend this time tends to be more like bursts of flowers, bolder flowers, Flowers on more of a solid background, and then there's a flower popped onto it. I mean, lots of flowers popped onto it, but it's just kind of, they're fun. It's like a splash of floral. That might be a good word for it, but floral. And I do think it's just a beautiful, beautiful trend this season that is just a little different than florals you've seen before. Number two is sleeve detail sleeve detail on uh, like just very interesting things on sleeves. So sometimes they have little ribbons. Sometimes it's an open, open shoulder. They're calling it maybe a bold shoulder. Sometimes it's got um, like texture on texture. Some are puffy sleeves. And on the runways, you're going to see a lot of puffy, like oversized puffy sleeves. Well, we can wear those trends. We just don't have to go so crazy. Like these have a little bit of a puffiness to them, but it's not like overdone, right? So a puffy sleeve, you're gonna find details, have uh, just a lot of pretty ties on, on sleeves, just really interesting details. So look in your closet. What do you have that has some interesting detail on the sleeve? Pull it out, put it to the front because you'll be able to wear it this spring. My number three favorite trend for this season is super light wash denim in a flare jean or a wide leg jean or in a wider crop that kind of hits right above the ankles, kind of a little bit below the shin, kind of some right where right in there. But a wider leg, you're going to see a lot of very relaxed denim this season. But I'm loving the wider leg. If you gain in your hips and your thighs, a wider leg, a flare really does balance your hips. So look for that. And when you put the a little bit of a puffy shoulder on, it's going to really balance you and make you look like an X body shape. But I love the lighter denim. Usually I like a darker de denim, especially in the fall. Boyfriend jeans are, are still in, girlfriend jeans, whatever you want to call them. They're still in, wider cuffs at the bottom. But as long as your denim is a lighter wash this season, you're going to be good to go. The fourth trend that I'm loving is a pattern. And it's called blurred mosaic. You're also going to see it in kind of a blurred tie-dye. But it's not a, a, a pattern that is, I don't think we've really ever seen this before. It just, the patterns, it almost looks like a piece of art. The pattern and the fabrics just sort of flow together. And, oh, it's so beautiful. You probably will be seeing that in the outfit planner. Oh my goodness. It's just lovely. There's my word. The fifth trend that I really like 
is that of which we are calling joyful clothes. All right, so joyful meaning brighter colors, colors that are really gonna bring you to life. And no matter what your color code, we have chosen a joyful color for you in the outfit planner. But it's just kind of one of those seasons. If you watch the inauguration this a few days ago, the clothes on, oh my goodness, what those women wore was incredible. Bright colors, light colors, like light, but had like zippity doo dah to it. I mean, it was, I don't know where that word came from, but just, they were gorgeous. Oh my goodness, lots of purple at the inauguration. But I'm telling you, joyful colors this season are gonna be everywhere. Number six is called luxury loungewear. So we're also hearing them called silky sets, matched sets that just take up the jogger another notch. You know that your stay at home yoga clothes and sweatshirts, these just are taking it up a notch, whether it's the fabric that it's done in, whether it's the color, the matching set that it's done in. The luxury loungewear is, first of all, I love the name. I think that's just so amazing. But um, we're staying home still. COVID's not over. And so um, just taking those, those that athleisure wear up a little bit is going to be an amazing thing to see this season in these luxury loungewear sets. And number seven is Islet. Again, beautiful, lovely, uh, pretty, that's a great word, Islet. Whether it's Islet uh, fabric on a blouse, whether it's in a dress, whether it's just in a sleeve, whether it's a skirt, but Islet. So for those of you who might still have some Islet from way back when, get it out. If you're somebody who sews, if you're a seamstress, maybe go look for some eyelet detail, but you are going to see a lot of eyelet this spring as well. And I just think it's so pretty. Three trends that I don't like, and I, I just don't like them. Number one is the oversized shoulder pads. Yes, they're bringing them back. So like your shoulder pads are like way out to here. Not good. I say leave them at home. I really prefer a bold, a bold shoulder is fine if it's kind of cut out a little bit or if it's just a tiny little bit of a, a shoulder pad, but I don't like the bold shoulders. I think they're just a little bit ridiculous and I don't think it looks good on the everyday woman for our wearable trends. The number two trend that I don't like, and I'm just gonna give you three of them. The number two trend I don't like are bra tops. Again, the young gals, they're probably gonna be wearing them, but I, I don't like them. I don't like showing that much skin. I don't care your age. I think it's a little bit, uh, like keep your bra under your clothes, not on top of your clothes, you know, that kind of thing. But I don't like this look and I hope that you don't either. And the number three trend that I just don't like is the oversized, super oversized denim. Okay, so. I have seen some denim jackets that are a little slouchy and a little relaxed. They're okay. But the oversized, like where the pants are so big that you can hardly find you in it, and the and the jackets that are so huge, they overpower. I don't like this look at all. And you're gonna see it. It's gonna be out there. I don't like it, and I hope that you don't either. But that's what I have for you today, I just want you to get you excited for spring. I want you to start thinking about the details that I talked about, the whether it's a sleeve detail, whether it's a little sheer. Sheer, did I even talk about sheer? I don't think I did talk about sheer. Sheer is another trend that I really like. And you're gonna see sheer in just, that That would be part of the sleeve detail. But um, it's not sheer that's like all over right, where you're seeing through, but like a sheer sleeve or um, a, a sheer tunic overlay on on a, on a tunic. But um, whatever it is, just kind of look at those things, look in your closet, see if you have them, pull them to the front, get ready. Remember, we have a couple of weeks, well, it's probably more than a couple of weeks before we announce what, what the closet outfit planner, but I hope you're excited for spring. You can do this by picking trends that are already in your closet and just start to get excited and put your spring wardrobe together. And until next week, I will see you then. Bye-bye.